I've been playing Shovel Knight Treasure Trove for a little while, and I'm really into it, and I just felt like playing some of the Plague of Shadows expansion, so... As I tried to figure out what I wanted to play for the next game of my stream, on top of the thing I already had planned, which was that Sonic World thing, I'm just gonna play more of this. Alright. So, I'm still... I'm in the beginning stages of this... of this expansion here. And I'm trying to get some of the things from the shops here, just to make my life a little bit easier, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this level again. Actually, hold on just one sec, I'm gonna turn it up on my TV here. Just so I can be a little more immersed myself. Boom. No! Incorrect. Oh wait, too loud. Wow. See, I try to make things fun for myself and then I just screw it all up. Okay. So, if you haven't played Shovel Knight... Um... What can I say about it? It's it's basically like the best of Mega Man meets DuckTales meets Mario 3 meets... God, so many different great 2D platformers from the 80s and early 90s. But, if you know nothing about this, this is the Plague of Shadows expansion and it follows Plague Knight, which is one of the enemies of Shovel Knight. And it's quite a bit different in terms of how you move around and interact with the world here. So for starters, you don't have a shovel, you just have bombs, at least at this stage of the game. And I also have little magic abilities here and there. And so what I've done so far is just play through this level a couple of times just to stack up my gold a little- oh yeah, there's a fish. Stack up my gold a little bit. Okay. And hopping around can be a little bit tough. but it's, it's manageable once you get used to it. And also, I've only played this handheld, so using the Pro Controller right now is a little, little strange. I mean, it feels better, but... Here we go. Killed the Fat Dragon. He never played Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is... I really love Shovel Knight. And it's funny, because I bought it on the Wii U not long after it came out, and I think I played maybe three stages, and then it got a little hard for me, and then I never came back to it. So I decided to splurge on the Treasure Trove for the Switch, even though I could have had it on the Wii U for the price of what I paid for Shovel Knight. But it's fun to have it mobile, and after all the Twitch platformers I've played since playing Shovel Knight originally, and buying it again, I've gotten quite a bit better at platformers in general, so I managed to beat Shovel Knight. And now I move, uh, I've moved on to this. But if you haven't played it, it's excellent. And I highly suggest getting your hands on it somehow. Wow, yeah, look at that. Professional. How much money does it cost? So... I think the only way you can get Shovel Knight now is by buying the Treasure Trove, and it's... usually either 25 bucks or sometimes on sale for 20 bucks or less, but you're getting currently three games in one and then soon to be four games in one. So there's another expansion coming out toward the end of the year. It's out for all platforms. It's sad that I lost my money, but whatever. I'll get it back somehow. No! No! Don't you dare, skeleton! No! Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Nope. Replenish my life a little bit there. The one thing I will say about Shovel Knight, though, is that it gets quite difficult if you're not used to platforming games. Games like Mega Man, especially toward the end of the game. Oh, okay, I can just get this guy here. Let's jump up and get you. Or not, let's do this. Okay, I got all my treasure back. I still gotta get used to the controls here. Come on, slime. Thank you. Change the name, it says Sonic Fan Game. Um, it says Sonic Fan Game and other things in, in the title, so it's not just that. But thank you. I'm going to keep the title of the title of the entire stream. I did change the game, though, so the game that's listed, if you were to search by game, should be accurate. That should, should now say Shovel Knight. What it should should say should say Sonic Worlds, Lake of Shadows, and maybe Rocket League. Okay, get down here safely. Thank you. As soon as I finish the stage and go buy the other things that I'd like to buy, then I'm going to go take on King Knight stage, which should be a treat. No! Get out of my way, dragon. Thank you! You saw Sonic X also oh, that yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how most people have found me, is through the fat supersonic video. So thanks for watching that. It's it was one of those things where I just kind of made it and put it online and suddenly people wanted to watch it. So <laughs> that's uh that's my story. Should be one checkpoint away from the boss. If I'm remembering the stage right. Oh, you. You secret slime. This can be a little bit funky. There we go, got it. Okay, here is my least favorite part, so... Luckily I have some kind of burst that allows me to float slowly to the ground, so I don't have to worry so much about just falling to my death right there, because that happened a few times the first time I played this level. Come on, nope, nope. Okay, 
Do I want to go to the left? Yes, I do, because there's more treasure that way. Yes, give me all the treasure, please, so I can buy all the things that I need. Okay, boss time. And this should be pretty easy, because I've fought this dude several times now. I'm just doing this to get the gold. Ah, uh, alch alchemical trickery. You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? What are you insinuating? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. Is winning the Magicist heart worth betraying your allies? Hehe. <laughs> what? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know how you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the order, but none threaten the Enchantress and live. Oh yeah? You realize I throw bombs, right? Oh, yeah, you like to float around too. That's. I do remember that. Goodbye, Black Knight. It was fun. Hi, says the duck. Hello, the duck. How long have you been the duck? Oops, wait, I don't want to go here just yet. Let's go back to the map. Let's go back to town and go into my plaguey lair. Welcome to the lair of Plague Knight. So, what are you working on? So I don't have enough cipher coins or whatever powder. So I can I can either get this. Do I want to do this? Produces wall climbing flames. I might wait on that and actually switch over to. Oh. I may just beef up. Hiya, Plague Knight. I bet you'd be just mm, s stellar at physics. You're good at math, right? Anyway, yes, of course. Uh, you'd like potions, would you? Yes. Um, yeah, let's... Actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and refill my whole array of potions here, and then, let's go ahead and do a magic upgrade, some extra magic, let's go ahead and murder the peons, murder the minions, because that's a thing apparently. Okay, now let's go hang out with King Knight. Now I wonder how this stage has changed since- oh no no no, there we go. more cypher tokens, and so I need to get 40 of those to do whatever she wants to do with them. So that should be easy enough. There's another one right there. Come on, horse! Gotcha! 
I don't remember there being lava cauldrons here. At least not this early. Oh yeah, there were some. Never mind. Throw a fish, and he will bring me a potion. Okay. Oh, not the flying rats. True story, those things are actually the most terrifying things in this game. This way, nope, just gotta go up. So far, it looks pretty much identical to Shovel Knight's variant in this stage. Oh, that actually hits me. Does that mean Plague Knight's a little bit taller than Shovel Knight? Easily get up here now. Get the food. Oh! That's an area I've never been to before. Go away, propeller rats, please. Bye-bye. Who is that? Is that gold? It was treasure and stuff. And thank god I got the thing that lets me float. Edge, edge right there. Yep. Here we go. And then get this jewelry up here. What? That's not a breakable wall. That's legit. What do we got? What is this? Flare wand. A worthless relic. Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. Oh, that's Shovel Knight's thing. Oh, sorry, magician dude. a lot of fake wall fake ads. This area over here, and I think there's a music sheet. Oh no, this just takes me, this wraps me back around. I see. Oops. Magic is down here. Oh, it's just more healing potion. Okay. Oh, I see. I can't go this way because I'm not shaped like Shovel Knight.
Do that this way. Oh, I know this way. Bombs. Oh, there's even more here. I didn't even know that. This thing. Let him do his fire attack again. Let's whack him from the back of the head. Oh, I see what they did. Then it's added more propeller rats in this part. Just to make my life hell. Okay, that wasn't so bad, never mind. Going up. God, Flame Head is just so much chaos. It's not nearly as methodical as. Well, I guess it is in some ways, but Shovel Knight is pretty much your by the books. Mega Man ish melee attack kind of game. The Plague Knight's just like, I'm just gonna float over everything and throw bombs. And probably end up in a bottomless pit without trying. Now that's right. This was just an extra area. Just dispose of these guys real quick. Maybe not. They will dispose of themselves. Cipher while I'm at it. Oh, that's right. I remember this part. All the books. Oh yeah, they're oh god, this is gonna kinda suck. No, no! Oh Well at least I was right next to a checkpoint. Go ahead and get all you guys back. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that's right. Okay, so... Shovel Knight is the only one that can bounce on these things, so I'm on my own. Oh yeah, I should probably use...
No, honestly, I don't think I even need to. I'm sure I can just load over all these things. I just use the platforms as a just in case kind of scenario. Go away, Propeller Rat, please. Oh no. Seriously? Oh, nice. Cool. Yep, just losing all of my gold. That's the one big disadvantage of Plague Knight. Is that he can't traverse elaborate platforming segments as easily as Shovel Knight. And so I've fallen in quite a bit of pits because of that. So let's see if I can get rid of some of these Pellerads before I start moving my way across. Nope. Oh, come on! Sucks because I'm so close to the boss, too. Go away. Okay. Let's do it this way. Take the easy route. Through here. This way. Hello, rat man. Just leave all my gold behind. I mean, I'll get something back from the boss anyway, so I'm not, not too upset, but I did lose almost half of my treasure. Oh, hello. Okay, here we go. Plague Knight, you double-crossing constable of crucibles. <laughs> Having fun in your little kingdom? <laughs> Sorry, I meant kingdom. Oh, this lavish lifestyle is in my blood, peon. Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch. As the embodiment of opulence, I demand tribute. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have that essence. I think I'll take that nice crown, too. Okay. How's the king different? Oh, he just jumps a lot. Should probably do this. Ooh. He's done. Goodbye, king. We've had a good little bout. Give me your essence, give me your gold.
drop the essence into my dynamo decanter here. Essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once the essences are all distilled together, if my research is correct, then we can craft the ultimate potion. King Knight's essence is ours, and I discovered that his crown isn't real gold. Haha, <laughs> I knew it, pretender indeed. Well, let's get down to business then. So what are we working on? Um... So I have my 40 Cypher Coins. That'll do it. Okay, stand back as I test my hypotheses. Take a gander at your new arsenal. <laughs> Ooh, what do I have? A float casing? Oh, interesting. Okay. Quick fuse. Sentry Fuse? Man, there's so many different things I can do. Well, let's go ahead and... See what else we have here. Hi, Plague Knight. I bet you'd be, um, stellar at Yeah, yeah, we saw this already. Max out my... Actually, no, I don't want to do that just yet. I suppose I will just buy some stuff. Float casing floats up and away when thrown. Tracer powder. So I could buy... I kind of like the sentry fuse. Let's do that. Casing. Let's go ahead and get this since we didn't get that before. And I have a sheet of music to give this horse person. If I can reach horse person, I'll just murder my mean minions. Brilliant, you bought a sheet of paper. 500 gold for your trouble. Sharps, flats, time signatures, what's all this? Yeah, I'll just write on the back. Oh, I nearly forgot, it's promised. A fitting reward, a romance tip from Sir Percival. Gently stroke her hair as you tenderly feed her some oats. Move slowly, don't spook her. How does this musk melon have any luck with romance? Musk melon. Okay, well, I am going to buy some health potions. And then I'm going to try out... Oh wait, you don't sell them. She sells them. And then I'm going to go to Spectre Knight stage, which can be a bitch. Oh, wait, we have something else we can do. We have a couple things we can do here. We'll just give us some nice extra gold. I keep saying gold, but it's just treasure. Okay, what can we try out here? We have the bounce casing and the lob casing. I like the bounce casing, so I'm going to stick with that. Is waves of fires. Let's see what this looks like. Oh! Interesting. Oh, that's like... That's like what he uses when you fight him as Shovel Knight. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a little carried away here, so keep the bounce. Keep the black powder. Get the standard views, actually. My worst enemy, a tiny dragon. A tiny dragon that just keeps flying towards me.
Will you please eat like 500 dicks? Thank you. So I'm only here to get gems. That's it? That's all it was? Oh no, there are a couple of things here. We have a gem thing up at the king's place. Oh, this is an auto-scroller. I remember this from Shuttle Knight's campaign. Oh god, we can float around. What the hell? Even know if I can recover my stuff easily enough. Actually, yes, I can. Nope. <laughs> Four to go. Are you serious? At least we don't have any lives in this. I mean, honestly, this all gets me much more excited about Spectre Knight's campaign, because apparently his is the most fun to play because his movement is super fluid and snappy. He double jumps all over the place. But I'm glad this exists because this is a much more technical take on Shovel Knight. Is that all I get? Yep, that's all I get from that little guy. Okay, now let's go check Forest of Fishing. Hello, minion. Wow, there's a bunch of cypher coins dead in these pits, but it's a long way down so you can fish them up. I can. Shut up. I'm trying. Oh, okay. There must be something I have to do to get these. Probably a bomb that I don't have yet. This is wall climbing flame, maybe that. Almost. That just goes around. Okay. I don't think I have any sort of... Yeah, because Cascade Powder definitely doesn't do it. Okay, well, looks like I need some more help here before I can reap the rewards. Some Troopal Pond. Just a minion, huh? There's definitely nothing here, boss. I did most my I did my most thorough check. Should we move on? <laughs> did that do something? Nope. Nope. Looks like there's nothing there, at least for now, for Plague Knight. 
Okay. So what are we working on? Um, shop. We have a quick fuse, which could be useful too. But that's actually very useful. Can we get out, please? Thank you. these guys that I have. Buy some more. Okay. Let's give Spectre Knight a try. Hee hee hee. The spoof level. Oh, the spark frogs. Did you bring me? Nope. Yeah, they did such a good job with the music in this game. Maybe I should switch over to the Quick Fuse. Nice. It's a little bit better. Quite a bit of strategy involved with this guy too, because you have the Quick Fuse, the Long Fuse, the Short Fuse. Which are all very situational in their own kind of way. Well, I guess the headless skeleton is not gonna play, thank you. We have, oh, we have the ghosts. I know there was hidden stuff over there, too. And boom! Get this guy, yeah! Oh, there's a hidden cipher in the wall. Oh, and there's a hidden ruin! Kill the frogs first, please. I don't want any of these frogs in my face. Ooh, I got the phased lock at that is totally worthless. <laughs> Oh, Yeah, that figures. I think it sets me back quite a ways.
Would like to know what's down here. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch it over to standard fuse for this. Seems to work a little bit better for the frogs. I keep accidentally throwing fish. Fuse. Also, eh, I'm not going to worry about health potions until I need need them. Hold on. Lob casing. Actually. Oh, I see. Bounce casing. Yeah, it looks like there's no... There's no way I'm getting through this part right now. Switch back to our good old black powder. Just go back up. Are we not? We must not be able to go back up from here. Oh great, so that means I do have to get through here. Figure out what the puzzle is. That's what it is. I get it. Oh! And then I got squashed. Go all the way back. Well, I did get the coins already, so I don't really have to worry about that. Just go the regular way. But you anything, it was just like a sheet of music at the end. Come on, just get get the frog, thank you. I think the worst part about it is accidentally triggering the up. Like the up attack, which is the fish. Oh, come on. Let's get on the platform. I just want this one gem, please. Okay, now we get to go to... Oh, this is going to be so much fun.
I might want to switch over to the lob casing. This might be better. Nope, I'm going to have to switch back and forth. I want to get the gems. Okay, thank God. Another checkpoint. Ooh, I remember this. Gives me another one of those. Let's just use one. Get a replacement. A couple more. Gem, go up. Oh, this is going to suck. Am I? Wow, that um I was near death about five times. Wow, I got it. Thought I was dead, but I was not. Please get this, thank you. Ooh, another potion. Come on. <clears throat> oh, we're still only at the second checkpoint. Oh, this sucks. say one thing I really like about this game is the fact that you keep the collectibles even though you die. Otherwise, it would be way more of a pain than it needs to be. Go ahead and just avoid that cypher coin there. Let's 
so I have to let the fish recharge. <laughs> oh, I see. This is a good time for the lob casing right here. down because we have enough weight. Kill the frog. It's murder. Murder the frog! Murder the fucking frog! Okay, fine. I'll just fall down the pit. Perfect. I think this is bomb. Yep, that was correct. That's a fuckload of frogs. What we got here? Is it a relic? Poured in a beaker or stuffed in a bag? Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. Leech liquid. Replenish your energy by damaging enemies? What? That is amazing! Here to steal your energy! Good, thank god. No, I didn't want to use that. I wish I could just turn these off. don't like that situation there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid it. No! Over. Now I will use my fish the appropriate place. Oh, that was good. No. These gems and Float on down. Aha. Fourth checkpoint, and then this next section is gonna be kind of trash. Not my favorite by far. Especially with the frogs here. He's gone. God for me, oh, another potion. Good.
No, I created the ghost. I'm sorry I destroyed your grave. Damn it. Go away. God, son of a bitch! God, it's the movement in this game that makes it the hardest. Okay. Come over here, please. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now the ghost is gone, so I don't have to worry about him or it. Me, get out of the way. Oh my god. Can I please just get over here? Thank you. Good lord. I think there's some hidden stuff here. Yep. So this is probably going to be better, because Spectre Knight likes to float! So Reaper meets Reaper, but you are no kindred spirit. When have you come to harvest, foolish alchemist? If only you could see me yawning under this mask! Oh, spooky ghost! <laughs> a mask indeed is... befits a hollow, blustering fool, you hide only from yourself! How tragic that you shall never emerge from cowardice, for here your story must end. So yes, Factor Knight's kind of like death from Castlevania. Minus the floating signs. Oh, come on. Switch over the balance casing then. This is going to be fun. Let's wait until the lights start going out. I keep accidentally triggering the... my life power. That's actually not the worst thing in the world, because I could use it. It's a 
lot harder without Shovel Knight. Oh, ho, 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 yes. I got lucky. She's dancing. Huh? Oh, oh. Mona, what were you doing in here? <laughs> How long were you watching? You operated my torque lifts unsupervised? I, I just dropped in, I barely saw anything. Come on, I'm not some creep. Well, I guess the charade is up. Yeah, I dance down here all the time by myself. Big deal. By yourself? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Well, whatever, I don't see anyone rushing to join me. I'm used to the solitude by now. Wish I could help you there, but, uh, uh, you, you know, two left feet and all. Yeah, it's no big deal. Anyway, Spectre Knight is giving up the ghost. <laughs> Great, I need to swing by the Lich Yard and scrape up some ectoplasm later. Fantastic. Your face, you look different. Is something the matter? Silly, I'm smiling. Oh, by the way, take a swig of this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help. Yes, max life. What are we working on here? Shop. Still have a few things here, but... What else do we have? Okay, well, the rule of thumb for this game was to waste all your, all your treasure. Need 60 cypher coins for this. Floats up and away when thrown. Fires a blast in front of you when launching. Keep throwing in bombs to make a bigger boom? Hmm. Do you like making a bigger boom? Okay. And I'm just gonna buy some more potions, and I think I'm gonna call it a night. Quite a bit of stuff, actually. Let's see if there's anything happening here yet. Nope, just my minion. Well, let's go ahead and do what we have to do with him. If I can get there. Well, I can't. There's definitely nothing here, boss. Did I move? Do my goodbye. So it's... Well, now you all know that something's cooking in the oven. So I'm wondering what happens here. So this is the Explodatorium, and this is where Plague Knight is fought when you're Shovel Knight. So I wonder if you have to fight Shovel Knight in the Explodatorium. That would be interesting. 
We have Mole Knight, which sucks. Treasure Knight, which also sucks. Okay, well... Wait, so yeah, we tried doing the fourth to fishing. We couldn't fit through a certain spot, so... Oops. Go away, minion. Yeah, there's gotta be some kind of... Maybe it's like a dash move that you have to learn. Get underneath here. So there's no way I'm getting under there right now. I don't have anything special here. What do I have? Component power... powder... Yep, nothing I can do here. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it. That's that's it for the excerpt for Plague of Shadows. It's quite a bit harder than playing just the regular Shovel Knight, but I dig it. I've been having a lot of fun with the Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, so if you haven't played Shovel Knight, haven't seen it, well now you've seen it, to some degree, but it's a fun game. I'm glad I got it on sale, even though there's so much content in this game. But yeah, let's go ahead.